Hey guys, how you doing? It's HexDSL. Hello there. And uh, let's talk about Ziggurat. Ziggurat's a game that I picked up on sale recently for like £3. It was so cheap, it was ridiculous. So I didn't have high hopes. When you get a game that cheap, you go, oh, is it going to be alright? I don't even know. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed. Ziggurat describes itself as a dungeon crawling first person shooting. A dungeon crawl? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's €14.99, uh, a uh, usual price. And yeah, it's uh, it's it, it needs a Ubuntu thingy, uh, dual core, two gig of RAM, OpenGL, two graphics. Yeah, it's it's you'll 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 be fine. You'll be fine. Um, it's uh, nine hours, two point four hours. Yeah, people seem to people seem to like Ziggurat. But anyway, let's not worry about what they think. Let's worry about what I think. Ignore the Overwatch. That's for Wednesday, maybe. Um, depends how it goes actually. Uh, and then let's let's hit Stunter and let's uh, res let's new game. Let's go new game. Uh, we'll select a hero, the main hero, the main character. Balanced, without particular strengths or weaknesses. That seems good. And it's loading. See, loading is the best bit of any game. And the best bit of any video, I like to think. It's the moment where I get to spend just talking about any... Oh, it's, it's died. A two, oh, man. Okay. So you can see the controls are exactly what you expect for this. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, you can collect stuff. Yay, now we've got... Firestorm grenades. How, what do they do? So, ooh, okay. Think uh, essentially, this is, um, for lack of a better term, think first-person Diablo. Now, the first thing I noticed about the game is it's it's super smooth. It's buttery smooth. Um, Options-wise, I just maxed out everything and turned off uh, and turned off motion blur because, as you know, not a fan. Um, yeah, it looks great. It looks. I think it kind of looks like if Blizzard made a first-person Diablo. It, probably look like this it, it's really nicely polished really well done um yeah I, I really like the way it looks and uh the combat is simple you go into a room you clear everything out you move on to the next room um it's kind of roguelike like that kind of roguelike so here we go there's the minions the health points the health points slowly uh slowly whittle down so that's not one unit that's all the units in total when the health bar's empty the room is over shit 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 yeah Shit. I do like the effects. We actually do get hit. The effects it, it runs are quite nice. Like that. See that odd fade out thing it does? And obviously, as with any good dungeon crawler, there's loads of looty stuff to pick up on the way. And everything seems taller than me. That's one thing I've noticed. Look at how tall this guy is. Everything seems taller than me. Yeah. I'm probably I'm playing really badly because would yeah, it's hard to talk and play, as, as you probably know. I've I say that a lot. Look at that water in the barrels. See, nicely barrels are something in other than I don't know. Fire. Because barrels you just explode when you hit them. Oh, and green shit. So, okay, we got uh, we got 21 health, which is pretty bad for the first room. Let's go into the next room and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Ah, tough. Okay, so this particular room has tougher enemies. Uh, some of the rooms you go into might have a different power-up. Some of the rooms you go into might have weaker enemies or, or more enemies. Or enemies, like I had one where enemies are spawning pairs. So every time there's one spawn, you get two spawn, which was odd. Uh, but did kind of change the playstyle a little bit. And then you just have to get through it. Ah, oh, shit. So I find it's best not to focus on, ah, oh, not to focus on one and just shoot all the things. I see, just, there's piles of my bones. Just going in there. See, you are dead. Retry! It's immediate retry. Yay! When you get hit, you're invulnerable for a short period of time. That's a new item unlock. I suppose that works the same way as like Binding of Isaac. Which just means it's like unlocked in the game now. I don't think it actually gives you that item. Although that might be really nice actually. I'd like to be given an item. I'm randomly given an item. Okay, let's go. What's this? Magma rifle. Cool, let's go. See, with these games, I find like sometimes you'll play them. You'll be like, ah, it's kind of pointless. It's no, there's no fun here. Is that crazy carrot? Those are crazy carrots. Yeah, yeah. And then other times you'll go and you'll be like, this is amazing. Uh, it's like Serious Sam. It kind of does really. It's like Fantasy Serious Sam. Whoa. Oh, I've run out of ammo on that one. Those really are creepy little fuckers, aren't they? Is that a flamingo? Jesus Christ. Some weird shit to be seen in this game, if nothing else. I may be doing really badly, but there's some weird shit to see. Yeah, rather focus on one enemy. I find just shoot whichever one happens to be in front of you at the time. It's kind of my... Kind of my philosophy on life. Those things are going to give me nightmares, though. I'm not going to lie. Those things are... Those things are upsetting. Yay. 
Have I got any more ammo? No, I've got no more ammo for that magma rifle. That was... I liked it. It was cool. Oh, they've got stuck on scenery. I love when they get stuck on scenery. Yay! Is that treasure? Yes. A few more minions to get. There we go. See, I like how it lights them up behind the scenery as well. So you see the two guys there and there? You can, uh, you can go find them. So throughout a certain range, they just lit up, which is good. But yeah, it definitely reminds me of Serious Sam. They've got a Vulcan release of Serious Sam now. We should probably do a video on that at some point. Yeah, look at that. Look at that creepy fuckers. I like that you can just destroy barrels just by, like, walking into them. I'm more badass than a barrel. Yay! Room clear, and I'm right by a door. Yes. End in this room with 53 health. Yeah, these games aren't for everyone, but I don't know. If I'm in the mood for them, I find them quite satisfying. Because it's like just it's just a shooter without, without you know, with all the stuff taken out. It's just streamlined. Kind of the same way I enjoyed Electric Boogaloo, whatever that game was, with double action. Because I can just go in and just ex just play. Nothing else. I don't have to worry about progression. I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about plot. I can just go in and shoot shit, which is nice. But again, this is a single-player game. Single-player only game. It seems like there's no plans whatsoever about any form of multiplayer. I've leveled up, yay! We'll, we'll, if we survive this room, we'll talk about the level up. I do like the start, it's so polished. I've done a really good job of making it look nice. Shit! Maybe we can jump up here. We have to wait for our gun to recharge sometimes. That purple stuff there, like, goes up on its own. I assume that's mana. Mana? How do you say it? Mana? I think it's mana or mana. Because I don't it's spell, I don't know. Probably mana. Everyone says mana. That's probably correct. Okay, so we've killed everything in here. We're pushing you to upgrade. And then, we'll choose wisely so we can choose one or the other. Mana gems give you magic more energy. You lose 20% of your maximum health. Choose two more perks. Uh, no, we'll go with mana gems give you more magical energy. So we'll top it up our mana quicker. But yes, we've got this thing, which I've just wasted a shot on because I'm stupid, apparently. No way we can go in here. Can't get over how great it looks. Really, really does like, really does look just wonderful. I assume, I assume, yeah, we can go up here. Look. So we're here, we can do that turn on the right there. Let's go. I oh, got my got my magma rifle all primed and ready. And more health than us, and more health than I entered the room with, which is good. So no rooms in this one, just nice and straightforward killing the minions. It worries me there are no minions yet. Oh, flying minions. Oh, they're not flying, they're just. Did that guy kill itself by jumping in the water? Yes. He shoots his scores. Wow, those guys are creepy, aren't they? Do they just do they just keep coming? Can I just stand here and let them come to me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having far too much trouble with this game. This was supposed to be a short video. It's gone on for like eight minutes. I could have just summarized this in about two, but I'm having such a nice time. Shit. Okay. What? Seriously, those things are creepy. Are they like... They're like fucked up, I don't know, dodos or something. Dodo flamingos. Maybe that's what happened to the dodo bird. It just evolved into a flamingo, really. You see, I'm going to get... Th is that a boss? No. Okay. That was weird. It wouldn't stop glowing. They're down there now. They're spawning down there now. Okay, I think you've got the idea of the game anyway. It's, um, it's fun. I liked it. It was very cheap, and it's been cheap once. So it's probably going to go on sale again soon. But uh, you can't quit during a fight. How about a surrender? Yes, then I can quit, maybe. Yeah, and they really want you to know about white noise too. Um, I feel like, like, okay, we, we've learned about it now. Go away. I don't mind ad, but just, like just once, just go away. Stop telling me about this. Can we like tell it not to do that? I don't know. Even the menu looks nice. I like this game. It's a good game. You should definitely play this game. It's good. I've been HexDSL. This has been Ziggurat. Um, I did actually open up Wikipedia. To find out what Ziggurat was, should we have a look together while the video's on? Ziggurat um, was a massive structure built in ancient Mesopotamia. <laughs> so it's a building. A ziggurat's a big building. It's a big building thing. That's what a ziggurat is. It's a big, big, there it is. That's the ziggurat. Maybe the game's set inside it. I don't know. It's a cool sounding word, though. It sounds magical. I like it. I've been XDSL. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.